Have you seen advertisements for free Medicare plans? In many parts of the country, there are in fact Medicare plans that are available from zero dollars per month. A lot of people ask me, well, how can these plans really be free? And that's what I'm going to dive into today. I'm gonna to break down the real reason that these plans are zero dollars per month and what you wanna look out for before you sign up for one of these free Medicare plans. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Stephanie Aft. I am an independent Medicare insurance broker and I help seniors all over the country to navigate the world of Medicare. And there's an old saying that goes, nothing in life is free. <laughs> so then how can Medicare Advantage plans really be zero dollars per month? It's a question I get a lot and that's what I will review today. So in this video, we're going to talk about why some Medicare Advantage plans have a zero dollar per month premium, who pays for these Medicare Advantage plans, what your average costs really are if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, and we'll also compare those costs to costs that you may see if you have a Medicare supplement plan. Additionally, I'm gonna debunk some sneaky advertising tricks that you wanna watch out for when it comes to Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage plans are also known as Part C of Medicare, and these plans serve as an alternative way to receive your Medicare benefits. And if you watch TV or you listen to the radio, you may have heard about free Medicare Advantage plans, or maybe even $0 per month Medicare Advantage plans that include dental and vision benefits. I personally find some of these ads to be a little bit too vague and deceptive. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to really look at this from an objective point of view. Not everyone can afford Medicare supplement insurance, which is the type of insurance that goes along with your traditional Medicare benefits. And Medicare Advantage plans can be a really great lower cost alternative for people that are looking for a way to cap their overall Medicare medical spending. These Medicare Advantage plans are managed care plans like HMO and PPO plans that are offered by private insurance companies that are contracted with Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans offer generally low monthly premiums but they do require you to generally adhere to a provider network. And you're usually responsible for a bit higher cost share for most medical services than you would be on a Medicare supplement plan with traditional Medicare. Now, if you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you're no longer using your traditional Medicare benefits. Your doctor or hospital isn't billing Medicare anymore for your medical services, it's billing your Medicare Advantage plan insurance company. So instead of Medicare having to pay your medical costs, your Medicare Advantage insurance carrier is now on the hook for those bills. So because this moves the cost risk away from the government Medicare program, Medicare actually pays the Medicare Advantage plan for each person they enroll. So it's Medicare that's paying these Medicare Advantage plans whenever you enroll. And because they're getting paid by Medicare, they can charge you little to no monthly premium for the plan. Today, Medicare pays Advantage plans based on a bidding process. Plans submit bids to Medicare based on the average expected costs for each enrollee for A and B services. And these bids are compared to a benchmark amount that's been set by a specific formula that can vary by county or region. When the bids are close to or lower than the benchmark amount, then the Medicare Advantage plan can offer you a $0 monthly premium or even include extra benefits in your plan that are not covered by traditional Medicare. 
Now it's very important to know that even if you're enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, you still have to be enrolled in Medicare A and B, which means that you have to continue to pay your Medicare Part B premium. And Medicare Part B isn't free. Most people pay a standard premium of $144.60 per month to be enrolled in Medicare Part B. And you'll have to continue paying that premium whether you are on traditional Medicare or whether you're enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan. Additionally, Medicare Advantage plans have their own co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles, and cost shares that you are responsible for for most services. The standard maximum out of pocket on Medicare Advantage plans in 2020 is $6,700 per year. So you're responsible for your plan's co-pays and co-insurance, and once the total amount that you've paid adds up to $6,700 per year, then your Medicare Advantage plan would kick in at 100%, and that's for in-network services. Alternatively, if you decide to keep traditional Medicare and add on a Medicare supplement plan, most Medicare supplement plans are going to cost you around $100 a month in most parts of the country, but that is dependent on your area and your age. Medicare supplement plans are not Medicare Advantage plans. These are the lettered plans that are designed to work right along with your traditional Medicare benefits and they cover most of the costs that Medicare doesn't pay. So Medicare supplement plans usually have a higher monthly premium, but you pay less out of pocket for most doctor and hospital services. Also, standard Medicare supplement plans don't have any provider networks, so you can choose your own doctors and hospitals. So now we know that Medicare Advantage plans get paid directly from Medicare, which helps to explain why there's such a big push for these plans, especially during the fall enrollment period. Oftentimes it's a healthier population that enrolls in a Medicare Advantage plan, so the insurance companies have the potential to make a lot of money when you enroll because they're getting paid directly from Medicare. So really the most important thing that I can stress is reading the fine print, doing your homework, and really understanding all of the ins and outs and potential risks of any type of Medicare plan that you're going to enroll in. Some Medicare Advantage plans advertise $0 monthly premium, $0 copays, or $0 monthly premium, $0 deductible, which in my opinion is pretty deceptive. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just I think it leads people to believe that they have no out-of-pocket costs that they're ever going to be responsible for at the doctor or hospital, which definitely is not the case. When you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you will usually have some sort of out-of-pocket cost share responsibility, and some people may not realize that when they enroll. As an independent insurance broker, I work with both Medicare supplement plans and Medicare Advantage plans, and it's my goal to help you find the plan that is going to best fit your needs, your lifestyle, and your budget. That's how I make my living, and I would be more than happy to help you find the best plan to meet your needs. My service is 100% free of charge, and we're contracted with many different insurance companies in most every state. So we'd be happy to help. Please feel free to give us a call. You can send me an email, and I would love the opportunity to assist. I hope you found this video helpful. Please go ahead and leave questions for me in the comment section below. You can like the video and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.